Tigger the Tiger could have more land to play in if the Hattiesburg Zoo continues to rely less on city funds. When the city passed management duties of the Hattiesburg Zoo over to the city's tourism commission, the contract stipulated that the commission reduce the city's subsidy to the zoo by at least 10 percent within the first two years. The two-year point is around the corner and the city's support to the zoo is expected to drop by as much as 40 percent. We've been working with the city in a partnership to grow the zoo own operational revenue and to try to broaden its appeal as a tourist attraction as well as serving our local community. Uh, what we've been able to do is introduce some new attractions such as a splash pad, a, a shade structure, and we're building now a quarantine facility and a new education building. All of these things have excited the public, I believe, about the zoo. Don't let the word cut fool you. The Tourism Commission couldn't be happier to be on the road to becoming a self-sufficient facility. As a result, our income has gone up as well as uh, the support of the zoo. And that has put us in a position that according to our contract, we would operate for two years with this fixed subsidy from the city and then we began to reduce that subsidy at a rate of 10 percent per year. This was the contract we signed in 2009. The zoo has already been able to nearly double its revenue by increasing admission prices. Officials remain optimistic that one day the zoo will be completely reliant on its own operational revenue and not the city's. Less funding by the city means more money for the Hattiesburg Zoo. So don't expect Tigger the Tiger to be going anywhere anytime soon. Reporting for 7 on your side, I'm Elizabeth Googe.